Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to get straight into it. I'm using some Benefit Cosmetics brow products. So I just use their brow primer to start off with. Then going in with the browsing brow palette. I'm just taking the powder shade. This one's in the shade 4 for those that are wondering. And just filling them in with my Pony Cosmetics eyebrow brush. Then just taking a light concealer and using that to define the brows. I didn't really put that many clips in of me doing this because I'm sure you've seen me do it a million times. Then I'm just going in with the Benefit 3D Brow Tones to set my brows in place. Then I also tried out their 3D Brow Pop, I'm pretty sure, which is just for highlighting the brow bone. So I'm just placing that underneath there. Then going in with the Benefit Professional as my primer and then use the new Urban Decay Prep and Prime Spray. It actually smells not so good. <laughs> then for the foundation, I'm going in with the Stila Stay All Day in the shade 9. My favorite foundation at the moment and buffing that all in with my favorite Morphe brush. I still can't remember what the brush is called, but I'll leave it listed down below as always. So yeah, I'm just using that to blend the foundation in. Then going in with the Urban Decay Weightless Concealer in the shade Light Neutral and just placing that underneath my eyes, chin, cupid's bow, a little bit on my forehead and then down the bridge of my nose. And then I decided to do a little bit of cream contouring as well. So I used the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Deep and just placed that in the areas where I would typically contour. So in the hollows of my cheekbones around my forehead and then a little bit on my jaw and then blending it all out. Then taking the Laura Mercier translucent powder and just using that underneath my eyes to bake the concealer and to set it in place. Then going in with the Australis Fresh and Flawless face powder in the shade medium tan as always and setting the rest of my foundation. Then using this Zoeva palette, I can't remember what the name of it is called, but I'll leave it listed down below. I'm taking the gray shade and using that in my crease first for a transition. And then I'm taking the lavender and basically placing that in my crease as well and upper crease area. Then taking this Makeup Geek eyeshadow and just mainly focusing that on the outer corners of my eyes. Then I'm just taking the black from the palette and also placing that on the outer corners as well. And then also placing that below my lower lash line. Then taking this Stila Cream Eyeshadow and placing that on the inner corners of the eyes and oh my god, this color was amazing. I can't remember it from the top of my head, but I'll leave it listed down below. Holy shit. And that was so easy to blend as well, as you can see. Like they didn't go flaky or it wasn't like hard to use. Obsessed. I'm definitely going to have to buy a couple more shades. I definitely want a gold. I think it would look amazing. So I just thought I would zoom you guys up so you can see the true color. So obsessed. Love it. Then I'm just wiping off some bakage that I used to clean up the sides of the eyeshadow. Then taking this ColourPop highlighter and placing that on my inner corners and it worked really, really well. I probably wouldn't use it as a cheekbone highlight because of the formula, but for inner corners, it was amazing. Then taking the new Marc Jacobs um, eyeliners. I don't know what color this is. I think it's more of a darker gray sort of color but i'll leave the actual color of the pencil listed down below for you guys and then i'm just taking the black eyeshadow again just on a more narrow brush and just using that to smoke out the lower lash line 
Then taking the Too Faced Sketch Marker, which is one of my favorite felt tip liners, and just using that to line the top of my eye. I didn't decide to do a wing because I wanted to go with really dramatic lashes. Then I'm using these Urban Wink lashes. Holy shit, they were so dramatic. Obsessed. Then taking the, I'm doing this like really fast. Then taking the Too Faced Sweethearts bronzer and using that to bronze up my face. One of my favorite bronzers of all time. Then I'm taking some of the Laura Mercier translucent powder and just using that to bake underneath the contour to make it more defined. Then I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Highlighter and I've missed this. I actually lost it, misplaced it in my drawer somewhere, I only found it the other day and I was like, oh my god, I missed you. It's like one of my favorite highlighters ever. So just placing that on the cheekbones, Cupid's bow, tip of the nose and on the bridge. Then wiping off that bake because I don't like to keep it on for too long. Then going in with Stone Lip Liner by MAC, which is just a darkish kind of gray color. Then for lips, I'm going in with the new Makeup Geek Lip Creams, or I think they were liquid lipsticks, I can't remember. But oh my gosh, these are so easy to apply and really moisturizing on the lips like they don't dry completely matte but they don't really transfer it's really hard to explain but yeah really liking the formula i can't remember what the shade's called oh, i'm hopeless but i'll leave it listed down below um so i went in with the darker sort of gray purple and then i went in with that lighter pinky color in the center of my lips to make the illusion of bigger lips then I'm just using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and that is the final look done. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. It's something a little bit different and a bit out of my comfort zone. I wouldn't say comfort zone, but like I wouldn't usually wear these colors. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching and if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.